The social media app TikTok has become a dominant force in pop culture, especially among teenagers. However, over these past few weeks, uh, many Western governments have had growing concerns over the company's Chinese ownership. On Monday, Canada followed the U.S. and the European Commission by banning TikTok from government devices. They cited an unacceptable level of risk to privacy and security. So why is TikTok being banned and should it be? Well, TikTok is owned by the Chinese company ByteDance and has faced accusations that it collects users' data and hands it over to the Chinese government, with some experts worried that sensitive information could be exposed when the app is downloaded, especially on government devices. But some experts like Anupam Chander believe that this ban has more to do with geopolitics. Politicians in the United States are eager to show that they're standing up to China, which has been configured as our main geopolitical enemy. So it's not clear to me that this is... Um, a comprehensive strategy to protect national security. Other experts who are also against the ban uh, claim that companies such as, for example, Uber and Facebook also reportedly track the location of journalists who are investigating their app. We spoke to Madeline Carr, a cybersecurity expert. If it's about the concerns about data sharing, then I would say that uh, government devices shouldn't either have WhatsApp or Facebook or uh, any other, uh, you know, Western-owned social media platforms, because we know very well that those platforms do collect and share our data. Um, they're constantly being fined um, by their data protection officers, data protection agencies. So we know those are dangerous. But the U.S. is going even further. Currently, Congress is debating whether TikTok should be banned for everyone in the U.S., not just government officials. And this has caused quite a bit of backlash with, for example, the American Civil Liberties Union tweeting a ban on TikTok would violate the First Amendment rights of millions of Americans. But many experts following the case are skeptical that this widespread ban could even happen. There are limits on the authorities the U.S. has to actually ban an app. Uh, it would be unconstitutional, given the uh, right to free speech. It would be difficult to ban TikTok in toto. In fact, it's probably impossible. You could do things to make TikTok's life complicated by making it hard for them to advertise or to get sales. But you can't ban access. The Chinese foreign ministry slammed these decisions on Tuesday and insisted that Western governments have nothing to fear.